Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and today I'm going to explain how shunts work. Yeah, because there's been one too many comments on my videos talking about how we should ban NVIDIA from using shunts. So, we're going to do how shunts work. And I, eh, oh well. So how do shunts work? So we have a very simple issue here. We have 12 volts, right, and we have our GPU. Right, and the, I'm going to draw it right this time. Ha, huh, got it right. We have our GPU right, as a fan, and we have 12 volts going into it. And I want to know how much power is it drawing. Right, I want to know how much power is going into the GPU. And so power is equal to... Uh, voltage times current. So we know the voltage, that's 12 volts. We need to get this somehow. So what we're going to do is we're going to put use a shunt. Yeah, We're going to use a shunt. A shunt is basically just a ruler. Okay, It's not an active limiter. It's just a measuring component. So we're going to use a shunt to figure out our current here. So we're going to scrap this power line and we're going to make a new power line, except this time we're going to put a shunt on it and then we're going to feed that into the GPU. And this is normally located on the GPU, so that's our shunt. And it's just a resistor. So the full name is really shunt resistor. Right? And a shunt resistor has a special name. You know, we don't just call it a resistor. We call it a shunt resistor because shunts are made with very, very low resistance and they're very accurately made. Okay, so normal resistance for a shunt is, say, 5 milliohms. Okay? And 5 milliohms is ridiculously hard to make because... Excuse me? Because 5 milliohms is an extremely low resistance and it's actually really, really hard to measure a resistance this small. Okay, but so we have our 5 milliohm shunt, right? And we're going to put a multimeter across our shunt resistor. We're just, well, not a multimeter, we're just a voltmeter. Right, and we're going to put a little box and volt meter. Okay? And so we're measuring the voltage across the shunt. Okay? And we see that there is a hundred millivolts across the shunt. Right, 100 MV. And with this information and this information, right, because we have a 5 milliohm shunt, we know that because we, as the GPU designer, uh, well, this power sensing circuit designer, went and bought a 5 milliohm shunt. So it's going to have 5 milliohms resistance. We can always rely on that. We also know that the voltmeter is reading 100 millivolts. So now we're going to use a very, uh, you know, Ohm's law to calculate how much current is going through. And that means V equals, well, actually, I equals... V over R. Boom! Magic! Well, this is where the magic happens. Um, so we have our voltage, 100 millivolts. We have our resistance, 5 milliohms. This is really convenient because since everything's in milli, I'm not going to have to uh, do conversions. Normally, you know, you'd slap a bunch of zeros in front of everything, but I don't have to do that, so that's nice. So we go I equals. Uh, 100 over 5, right? And so I equals 20 amps. Because remember, this is also, because both is by milli, so it's also divided by 1,000 because of the milli thing. But we're, we're just going to, because they're both. So, yeah. This is just basic physics and basic math, actually. So I'm not going to cover that. But basically, uh, 100 divided by 5 gives us 20 amps. And we can do 100 because there's the, the M is on both. If there wasn't an M on one of them, you'd have to convert them into the same, uh, you know, uh, size thing. So, we now know there's 20 amps going into the GPU, so now we can do P equals 12 times 20, and I've gotten my power draw. Yay! 240 watts. All thanks to this shunt here, right? So that's how a shunt measures the power going into the GPU. So how does the shunt mod work? Well, basically with a shunt mod, you short out the shunt resistor. And when you short it out, you basically just put another resistor in parallel to it, which drops the resistance across the shunt. So if we have our 5 milliohm shunt, so I'm just going to put 5 milliohm uh, 
plus mod, right? So add the mod to it. We're gonna get 0, 0.00, wait, no, say three milliohm, right? So now we have three milliohms, and let's say we're still doing 20 amps on the uh, shunt resistor because we haven't, you know, we haven't overclocked the card, so we're still pulling the same amount of power. The card is still pulling the exact same amount of power as always, right? Except we now have a three milliohm shunt, and we haven't told our equation, you know. So now we have a three milliohm shunt. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our equation. We're going to do our calculation again. Right, except this time we're going to work in reverse. So we have our current, which is 20 amps, uh, equals, um, so current times, yeah. So we're going to do times uh, 0.003. Well, actually, no, I can just do 3 milliohm, right? And that's going to equal our voltage. And what we're going to end up with is 60 millivolts, right? 60 millivolts. Now, that means, relative to the old equation, we are seeing 40 millivolts less, right? So if our calculation system is dumb and doesn't know that we've changed it, what it's going to do, right, what the GPU is actually going to see, because the GPU still assumes that 5, it still thinks it's a 5 milliohm resistor. It doesn't know that the resistor no longer is 3 milliohms. Uh, is no longer 5 milliohms, but 3 milliohms, it still thinks it's 5 milliohms, right? But we've added the mod to it, so now it's 3 milliohms, and we're actually getting 60 millivolts of voltage drop. So what the GPU does now to calculate power is going to be uh, 60 divided by 5, right? Because it still thinks there's a 5 milliohm resistor there, when really there's a 3 milliohm. That's why we're getting less voltage drop, but that GPU doesn't know that. GPU is dumb as a brick. It trusts what those sensors tell it. You know, it trusts it completely. That sensor never lies. That sensor is always 5 milliohms, except it's not because you just modded it. Uh, there, and I, I hope I managed to bore that into your head at this point. Um, so now we do I, you know, 60 divided by 5, and we're going to work out to 12 amps equals our current, right? And so now we do 12 times 12, because we've got 12 amps times 12 volts, and we get 144 watts power draw. Kaboom. The GPU now sees that it's drawing less power. And this is a 1. I draw 7s like that. That's a 1. That's a 7, okay? For any future references, because I'm going to draw some sloppy ones in the future, and I've already just drawn one. So now the GPU sees 144 watt. We're still pulling 240 in real life. The GPU just doesn't know that, right? We've tricked the GPU. It's like giving somebody a tweaked ruler and telling them to go measure something. They're going to think there's less of it than there really is, right? So that's how the shunt mod works. You basically just trick the GPU into thinking uh, into yeah, into thinking it's pulling less power. So when you end up overclocking, you hit the power limit later because the GPU is seeing actually non-real power draw. It's seeing a power draw that's, say, 40, 20% lower than what it really is, right? So that's how the shunt mod works, how shunts measure power. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you still didn't get it somehow after this video, drop a comment down below and I'll probably just bludgeon you to death with a book on physics. I think that might, you know, work. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and if you would like me to produce more videos and, you know, just if you just want to help out with this glorious thing that is actually hardcore overclocking, there is a support link down in the description below. There's also a Patreon right on the front page of the channel. So, you know, click that and drop a few, you know, send a few dollars my way so uh, I can afford more thermal paste in LN2 and stuff. And thank you for watching and see you uh, whenever I next see you. Goodbye. Where the hell did the map? Oh, there is this. Okay. Now goodbye. Wait.